FDNY Commissioner Laura Kavanaugh, she was mercilessly booed in a recent New York parade. And just as a refresher, Kavanaugh and her department, they vowed to hunt down Trump supporting FDNY members who heckled her good friend, Attorney General Letitia James. In an internal email leak, it showed that an investigation was actually going to be done by Kavanaugh to bring out the people who booed James. Come on, we're in a house of God. <laughs> First, um, simmer down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for getting it out of your system. I want to thank Commissioner Kavanaugh and Chief Hodgins for that recognition. FDNY Chief of Department John Hodgins even went on to say that they were already investigating and encouraged those who jeered at James to just admit their mistake because they don't want to quote unquote hunt them down. From the chief of the department saying that he recommends those who protested come forward so the commissioner, Laura Kavanaugh, won't have to quote hunt them down. Now you would think that officials who work for such esteemed offices will be much more professional than this, but no, this was not the case. Although Hodgins did say that these weren't his words, this was one that was straight out of Commissioner Kavanaugh. Now this has led to a firestorm online with New Yorkers just absolutely furious and offended by by how the rights of these firefighters were being trampled on first amendment rights mind you it even led to two attorneys to come forward and offer their services for free if ever any of new york's bravest face any kind of legal action from them expressing their opinions and just to again remind you of how smug Letitia james can be critics called her out for telling firefighters to simmer down we're in a house of god after she was being heckled now some say that this is her looking down on New York's bravest and just kind of treating them like children. Well, now both Kavanaugh and James have something in common. They've both been booed and heckled by the people of New York. Because the people in New York respect firefighters. Many analysts have come out to criticize James and Kavanaugh for how they've handled this particular situation. There are countless Americans who see firefighters as heroes. That's just a fact. These are the people that you thank, not persecute. Just because they have an opinion, it doesn't make them an enemy. But that's what Letitia James and Laura Kavanaugh have done. But the fire got a little bit too hot for them when one word got out that they were hunting New York firefighters or New York's bravest. Now this made them switch gears to reverse and then just completely backtrack on all of that nonsense. Now, before we even get into what the people of New York shouted at Kavanaugh, were you guys aware that she's never even served as a firefighter? She has zero experience at it, but yet, Mayor Eric Adams thought that she understood the job well enough to be the commissioner of the New York City Fire Department. Have you ever had a manager that's managing you, making at least double your salary, having no experience doing what you're doing, and then you think to yourself, how are you a manager? How are you my manager? Meanwhile, they're asking you how to do basic things. Anyway, this alone raised a few eyebrows, and it's now speaking volumes with what's happening over there. Now, before we even get into this, all I ask is that you guys take one second, drop a quick like for the video. I totally appreciate you guys and i want to thank you so much for sharing this video this definitely helps to get the truth out there now there were many things that were shouted at kavanaugh during the city's annual saint patrick's day parade some stuff I can't even repeat on here. But there was one that was repeated and it was the phrase, you suck. Someone also shouted that firefighters are the hunters, which may sound a little bit off to some, but you gotta remember that it was Kavanaugh herself who coined the term hunt. There was also a poster of an edited photo of what I believe was Kavanaugh's face on a donkey. And while I can't 
say what was on the poster itself, you guys should probably already have an idea because you know what else a donkey could be called. But we have to consider how firefighters responded to this, right? Because as Kavanaugh made her way through the parade, chants of Trump were being started. Now, this is very similar to what happened to her good old friend, Letitia James, just the other day during the promotion ceremony that she attended. Firefighters in line at the parade, they smiled and gave thumbs up to the Trump supporters at the side. There were officials who were also a part of the parade who even stopped just to shake hands of those who were protesting. They looked delighted to have the New Yorker support them. One of them even encouraged the shouting to continue. And that's what many are saying, that these people should be supported because they have the right to feel how they feel. Which leads me to what many analysts and experts are taking from this event. The First Amendment. These protesters, much like the firefighters that heckled Attorney General Letitia James, they have a right to free speech. You should be allowed to express yourself without repercussions, so long as it doesn't involve anything illegal. Now, I'm pretty sure booing and shouting Trump, it's not illegal, is it? Unless, of course, you're biased and you want Trump in jail. But that's what many saw when James succeeded in finding the former president almost half a billion dollars. Now, again, this was a crime where there were literally no victims at all. This precedent has also been opening up talks about what can happen to average Americans who don't want to follow the same narrative? The idea is that you have to abide by the rules and the mindset that's placed by whoever's in charge. Like in this case, Laura Kavanaugh found it disrespectful that firefighters use their rights to boo her friend, Letitia James. And because of that, she wants them to be hunted down and re-educated. Letitia James is after Donald Trump because he's being seen as a threat to President Joe Biden and the White House. And this is what a lot of people are talking about right now. The discussion is that these people, they're not fighting for Trump. They're fighting fighting with Trump. They're fighting for the United States of America and they're fighting for each and every U.S. citizen that lives here. The idea is that we deserve to exercise our rights. And if they can do that to New York's bravest and a former president of the United States, then what's stopping them from doing this to you? And the pushback is starting in New York with the people. Now, while this movement is generating even more support from Americans across the nation, another roadblock has come up for the former president, Donald Trump. His legal team has recently said that finding a private company, a surety bond company, to guarantee the $464 million that he's been ordered to pay in New York, it's practically impossible. His team has also said that they spent countless hours negotiating with one of the largest insurance companies in the world. The problem is that very few bonding companies would even consider a bond like this due to its magnitude. 30 companies were said to have turned Trump's legal team down. A president from a private insurance firm even gave his lawyers an affidavit that said a bond of this size is rarely ever seen. Now this opens up something that AG Letitia James has been alluding to for some time now. Possibility that Trump Trump may have to give up some of his assets. This has been Letitia's dream since day one. James has already gone on record to say that she's ready at a moment's notice to liquidate the former president's assets. Now, this means that the people in New York will lose jobs, something that would be inevitable if James gets her way. Now, this has led some critics to believe that this was her plan all along. Besides distracting Trump from the presidential campaign, the goal is to stop him from doing business in New York City by taking most, if not all, of his assets there. But what do you guys think about all this. Now, as for myself, I'm going to do my best to keep you guys informed and updated on everything that's going on. All I ask is that you guys drop a like for the video if you enjoyed it. Share this video if you really want to help get the truth out, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care and be safe, guys.